Right, so we're starting um, and welcome again to everyone and um, to um, our conversation here at Faith and Family Conversations at Agape Missional Christian Church. So um, as usual, before we go uh, into our conversation, we try to take a quick introduction so that persons know the names that are here. So, so I'm just going to take a uh, a quick round robin and you're just basically saying your name and either where you worship or where you work or both where you worship and where you work. Um, um, Lady Shea, if you're able to hear me, can you want to introduce yourself? Okay. Good evening, I'm Ibadna Shea. I'm here listening clear. Thank you. you. Can go speak. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Sir, Sir Andrew. Greetings, uh, Andrew Barnett from Faith of Apostolic Ministry. Uh, Lady Smith. Blessings, uh, Sister Claudine Smith from Agape Missional Christian Church. Mrs. J. Yeah, good evening, everyone. I am Neil C. A. Johnson, and I'm from the St. Joseph Catholic Church. Um, Lady Rocks. All right. Maybe, maybe, maybe not able to access her phone immediately there. Uh, Lady Young. All right. Good night, everyone. Chantel Young, currently worshiping with Agape Missional Christian Church. And Lady Michelle. Good evening, everyone. I am Michelle, worshiping at Agape Christian Missional Church. Okay, and uh, as you can see, the conversation tonight um, is on the issue on the topic of online church. And specifically, we are focusing with um, the worship experience um, and with online church as church in general. Um, from a biblical perspective and you know there are different you know different persons you know probably before COVID had different thoughts on you know you know the whole phenomenon of online church um, but of course if during the pandemic it has rallied to to you know to many to the rescue of many um, but we still want to you know reflect on really what what place does online church has um you know from a biblical perspective but also um how effective or how is it working does it work um i'm basing this conversation um tonight on the fa fact that a study that was done by um Valerie crompton and she this was a, a PhD dissertation that was done even before the pandemic. Pandemic. It was done in 2018, reflecting on the whole phenomenon of online online church. And she said, if churches cannot transition to accommodate a new culture of church that is only accessible via the internet, there is a possibility that they could lose the opportunity to share the gospel message with a population that, that may never enter a church building. This is one of her, a quote from you know, uh, her work. And we're gonna be asking some questions, the same kind of a question that she has asked. I should also put out there that, of course, this is not the only perspective. Uh, there are persons who, who maintain a, a negative perspective, um, even objecting to the, to the expression online church and they feel uncomfortable that it, that it does not really reflect um, what the church should be or what the church should look like. And the phenomenon really should, um, we, we shouldn't accommodate to the, to the phenomenon. So, 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 so there are different perspectives and different understandings of, of online church, but I want to, I want not to, you know, well, there are those are those out there, but we are doing it right here. 
and we are we are dealing with it and so we want to see what what persons really have are thinking about and your feelings about the entire online church church experience um so i'm going to uh, I'm going to basically, well, that's basically this, the, 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 the background and the, the kind of an introduction to the conversation. So I really want to hear from, hear from you. Um, first of all, uh, just to canvas the group, what are your thoughts on about the phenomenon of online church um, um, in general? Are you okay with it? Not okay with it? somewhere in between online church what um what are your what are your initial thoughts um on 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 christians doing church doing church online and mrs j i see you're on the top of my list yet um in terms of um recording some um uh, uh, video um participants so i'm gonna throw that one out to you first what are your thoughts mrs j how, how and probably you can share with your me with with with, with your church um over in spanish town how, how how has that been working for for you again hello to everyone mm. it is a you know as a catholic we we believe in the presence of the body mm -hmm. and the blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. Therefore, having the internet version, yes, that presence becoming a spiritual. Oh, right, right. Personally, I I've been using the internet church for some time now because we also have a, this a, some programs that coming through through virtual. Yeah. However, to be honest, the presence is important. Yes. Uh, to be present at church is important because yes. uh, uh, um, the vibration, the uh, uh, unity, yes. and the togetherness, it's, it's, it's very challenging to express through the internet. Yes. In this occasion, because of the COVID, this is a, a very good way to connect it. Yes. And it brings to you some depth of uh, searching to yourself because you kind of feel alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is some sense of loneliness mm -hmm. at times. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it works, however, I would prefer the presential at uh, all time. And our, our church does it both. And when it's possible, they do the schedule. But now that is so challenging, mm -hmm. uh, the schedule is very, very limited. But uh, we are, the priests make all the effort to, to satisfy the need doing it by the internet. It works, but we're looking forward to the press. <laughs> <laughs> and for those who are, you know, probably not, uh, not as familiar um, to, 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 uh, to, you know, to the best of my understanding, uh, the, the Catholic um, Church believes in the literal presence of God, particularly, of course, and Mrs. James, you can correct me, in, in, in communion that the actual tokens uh, represent the literal body of Christ and the literal blood, blood of Christ. So I can imagine, you know, uh, the challenge that, that may present itself with, with some folks, you know, doctrinally or biblically um, or based on Catholic teaching, how would this work if, you know, you're not able to connect with the physical presence of physical presence of the of the lord um in your in your in your service so um lady smith you know what, what are your thoughts um on on you know your your experience and your thoughts on the, on the phenomenon of online church itself um good night again everyone um for me 
um, definitely I I prefer to be in the in the in the in the in the building um, mm -hmm. with everyone. There is a distinct difference. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's a distinct difference when you're worshiping among um, the saints. Mm -hmm. um, online, if 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 you cannot be have that. Um, and I'd call it at this point in time, it, it's no luxury mm -hmm. um, to, to be physically in, in a building. Um, if you can't, yes, online is, is the option and, and it does work. Mm -hmm. It does work. Um, it's yeah. just that there's a, there's a bit of takeaway. Okay. All right. So we're, we're going to get back to that, to that, to that work. You know, it does work clause in a little bit, but let me count with everybody. Lady Shan. Um, um yes good night again everyone mm -hmm. all right so for me i i i, I prefer in person mm -hmm. but online works and mm -hmm. yes you can feel the presence of god you can connect online lives can be changed mm -hmm. chains can be broken persons can be delivered mm -hmm. by the internet um once they're on one mind one heart Mm -hmm. God can still move and, and accomplish his work. And I believe online is necessary as well to spread the gospel. Mm -hmm. But I was I always think about it way back in the years before even pandemic come, as in, you know, when the word of God speaks as to how the gospel must be preached mm -hmm. all across the world before um he appears. And I was saying, Wow, how some places going to hear it and you know how a person's going to go to some areas and some areas where they have certain beliefs and so forth i was wondering how is it going to get across but god knows how to get his word across and i believe online is one of those mediums to get the gospel across the world definitely definitely uh, uh, uh lady shay you you you've had to you know be doing some online online church in these days you know how how you how you feel about it do you, do you think that it is you know how do you feel about it good night again mm -hmm. I'm okay but being at the edifice mm -hmm. is better yeah we are more focusing on god mm -hmm. sometimes distracted at home because someone might like even call you i'm so on yes but being at you get to worship and go deep in Christ than being at home online. Okay, okay. So the focus there. So I hear, you know, put, uh, you know, ability to reach, um, you know, folks that are far flung in the in the world. I hear, uh, you know, the, um, the ability, the, the the potential for distraction. Um, you know, uh, if you are if you are at home, so you know, so uh, so there is a. a that's a disadvantage. Um, Sir, Sir Barnett, your thoughts? Um, all right, good evening again, everybody. Um, so it, traditionally, we, we, we were cultured in the physical setting, mm -hmm. right? We, we, everybody gathered together, and that's what we know. But I, I really believe that there is there's a place for, for this online, mm -hmm. online church. And remember that churches would have had websites and stuff like that even before pandemic. Mm -hmm. So I think the need for, for, for it would have been recognized from, from a long time. Because as one person said, your, your, your audience is much, much, much more significant. I mean, most churches can hold maybe a hundred or a couple of hundred people. Mm -hmm. In an online setting, you can be ministering to, to thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. Mm -hmm. All right, through your, to your broadcast. So in terms of that reach, is good. But however, the... The, the getting together physically with, with the brethren, you know, I mean, that aspect of it is just yeah, priceless, really. Yes, yes. Right. But, but, but um, I do believe, though, that there is, there is room mm -hmm. for both the physical getting together and the online, online um, modal, modal of delivery. Mm -hmm. so if we were, I, mean, I don't see a time coming when we're going to just go back to just one mode only. Okay. And is here to stay, so might as well we just we, we mm -hmm. just embrace it. And I just want to talk about the destruction, but 
I, I've come to realize that the distractions are even at church in the physical space. You know? <laughs> it's just about what you are the individual, what you are what you're about. Right. Right. And we'll come to that in a, you know, you know, those things in a little bit in terms of fleshing out what what makes what makes um uh, online church what work. Um, but yes, so so, but I see your point. You know, the opportunity for larger audience. You know, the you know, the, 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 not notwithstanding that, of course, being in the presence, as you're saying, is priceless. Um, so Lady Rocks, what are your your thoughts and your experience? Um, blessings, everyone. Mm -hmm. All right, so my thoughts are that um, basically. Of course, we're going to miss, you know, that fellowshipping um, in person. Mm -hmm. Basically, COVID stepping and it really rubs us off that. I miss going to concerts, being able to go to different churches when they're having convention uh, mm -hmm. and that and all those things. Mm -hmm. But um, online can be effective if we want to, just like um, Sarah Barnett was saying, um, just like being in the physical because if it is that we don't engage basically in what's going on, then we won't we will miss out on what the Lord is doing and what message is being sent out within whatever time that we have. So online can be effective and it can work if we really want it to. Um I guess for persons that are new to the faith or whatever, mm -hmm. it can be a little difficult or whatever, but it can work. Yeah. Um, I heard the next thing is that we can't really limit God in what he can do because yeah. God can. I yeah. heard someone on Instagram and he's a preacher overseas and he was um, basically talking about the fact that um, in one of his online meetings, mm -hmm. he delivered somebody from demon possession. He was mm -hmm. casting out demons even, mm -hmm. you know, virtually. Yes. And it works the same because if I'm home and I'm watching a preaching or a sermon online, Mm -hmm. um i still feel the presence of god very strongly mm -hmm. and it can move up on me so rich that i still can connect and everything so you know it can work mm -hmm. um yeah. even re even recently you know i was able to mentor someone yeah. since this i mean it started before covid but it still wasn't in physical it was yeah. physically online all throughout once yeah. per week Nick, we had and basically he came to believe about the Lord. Mm -hmm. And even though the church that he was attending, it wasn't about you know baptism in Jesus' name. I was mm -hmm. able to make him see for himself, not only that pray and get the answer for himself to convince him. And recently mm -hmm. he got baptized. Yeah. So you know, things still can happen. Yeah, even though, happen. you know, we just have to be um be able to adapt because. You know, the Bible says, if we can't run with the footmen, how can mm -hmm. we run with the horses? So we're experiencing this right now. Yeah. We don't know what's out there left to come. It can be worse. You know, we know of churches um, abroad where they have to be in hidden places and underground and all these things. And we're privileged. We don't have to be in those circumstances or situations. Right. So we can't, we just have to work with what we have yeah. and really make it because it could be that God is preparing us for even worse, you know, because the Bible said what the devil intended for bad, God turned it for our good. Mm -hmm. So this can just be training for the next step after COVID because we don't know what's next. Yeah. So yeah. We just have to do it because what if, you know, everyone had to be by themselves in all of this that would be terrible yeah 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 that's so that's so that's so uh lady celia i know that you're listening in what we are um talking about for us first of all us canvassing um those persons feelings and this whole phenomenon of online church what their thoughts were um about it um i don't know if you wanted to share your thoughts um for you know against are uh, somewhere in between um and uh, the whole phenomenon of church online um and we're gonna try also to 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 get at the issue of the, to get at the issue of 
okay, you know, with, and I think that we've been answering it because you were saying that, you know, individuals, you know, you've seen that persons, you know, pastors have been able to, um, you know, cast out demons, for example, you know, um, online and, um, and um, Pastor Wong had also that a testimony as well that he was able from here in Jamaica and the individual was in the UK and, you know, then he was able to pray somebody through to their deliverance from a, from a, from a spirit in that way. So the question is, can, can, you know, we experience the presence of God, the anointing of God, the power of God and the move of God um, um, online? Is there anyone who feels that, um, yeah, what are your thoughts on, on that? Lady Celia, I see your mic is open. You want to share either on the first question or the second or the latter, what are your thoughts? Praise the Lord. God bless you. Um, yes, I do believe that the, um, we can feel the anointing through the online church because um, we are the church of the living God. We believe in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost is within us. Mm -hmm. And um, through faith and believing in the power of God, it can reach through any platform because this is the God that we serve. Mm -hmm. And he's um, able to do that. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think that um, it should limit us um, in the way that we minister. Um, it is just a different different um, platform. Okay. Right. Yes. Um, if you see um the, the persons um other persons are using the platform to their benefit it's just uh emancipating ourselves mm -hmm. um from a mental state mm -hmm. um it's just that we've uh, we've become accustomed to certain traditions but uh, if you look at persons in the secular world they are free they are using the platform they are doing they're promoting and they are reaching and they are dancing and they are doing right. every, i mean every friday, friday night, every friday night yeah. of course the part you know rjr and tv yeah. a party on um in the in the night some yes so um it is for our, our, ourselves and not and not just um narrow mm -hmm. um minute just to being in the church or mm -hmm. just to, to show up for one day and, and this is the reason why the holy ghost came mm -hmm. you know this is the reason for grace um and for this dispensation mm -hmm. and um no. Mm -hmm. to all the world you know yeah. i don't think that um just a moment i don't think that we could um a lot of us could afford it to to fly to to certain places so i mean opening this this platform opening and reaching to other people you know the lord can give us um the word for somebody in in israel yeah. and we have to use this type of platform so we have to adjust to ourselves mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. believe that uh, the Holy Ghost is powerful and it is here. Absolutely. And um, Absolutely. the way it's going now, it, it's it's not limiting us. Right, it, it right, is um, right. um, making the, the communication wider and faster. And it's just for us to connect mm -hmm. the same way mm -hmm. and for us to, to, to pray the same way and worship mm -hmm. and unite mm -hmm. on even though even for example in my background there are distractions we have mm -hmm. to unite through the holy spirit mm -hmm. and just make it work okay it, okay yeah definitely yes. yeah 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 all right i'm gonna throw out something where the, spirit oh, of so the lord is there, where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty that's so, all that's all wherever there is if, if it's in person or, mm -hmm. or online, the liberty God 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 is free. He can mm -hmm. he can flow. Yeah. And he, yeah. and we can't limit him. Right. Um, that is it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Um, it's, it's, it, there is when it comes to, of course, church. Church is relationship. The fundamental thing is God in relationship with us us being in relationship with 
others, right, as, you know, the two first and the two greatest commandments this describes. So, so I think in, 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 in trying to clarify within our minds whether this is the will of God or whether this can, God is in this thing, because there are some folks who did not quite believe that God could be in a Facebook um for, for for example and it really was when it was started to come out of course it really was more negatively spoken of than it was positive but our 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 salvation and the gospel and everything about church is really about relationships so uh, uh, you know the true question then should be asked is can we can relationships be fostered online and of course i think based on what we've heard the answer is easily yes that the um, relationships can be fostered online even during covid we are seeing where persons who are isolated because of covid you know what the nurse will have to do is to try to get a phone and for the last remaining mo moments of these persons lives they are able to connect at least of, of an emotional connection with their with their with their loved ones so online does um, seem to be able to connect people relationally, emotionally, and of course, conversations are being able to be had. People can exchange uh, thinking and, and, and that sort of a thing. So I'm going to throw, there are seven things, seven characteristics of church um, that if you have all of these seven elements, you are able to accomplish the church of of acts and these are prayer and i guess i'm going to invite you to work with me to see if there's any that cannot be facilitated so prayer we have been able to facilitate prayer um online um worship um worship of course we uh, have been facilitated online fellowship fellowship in the biblical context meaning keeping relationship with each other um, growing in love and you know doing life together, um, you know uh, uh, fellowship. In what ways have we been able to accomplish fellowship um, online? Stewardship, you know, people giving. You know, can you throw your tithe online? Um, um, you know, can you can you minister? You know, give your gift, your talent. Can your talent be demonstrated or exercised online? Um, uh, of course, your time is, is easily shared online. Um, care in terms of being able to, to, to take care of somebody. Um, and that comes in all sorts of forms, whether it is clothes or shelter or food. Um, the church does care naturally for people. Um, evangelism and discipleship. Um, any comments on any of these that you, you know, um, see that is probably not being able to be accomplished online? And, and I'm going again, prayer. And your thinking is what cannot be done online? Prayer, worship, fellowship, meaning people being in relationship, you know, having a relationship with each other. Uh, stewardship, meaning people being able to give in, you know, time, talent, treasure. Um, people being able to care about somebody, um, people being evangelism online and discipleship, Bible teaching uh, online. Any, any, any of these that you think cannot be accomplished or will be severely hampered online and which one in your, in your mind? Anybody, um, I'll just throw that out in general. Prayer, worship, fellowship, stewardship, care, evangelism, and discipleship. Any of these that you think cannot be, can, will be significantly affected by being online? Going once. Going All twice. Right. So, Smith, um, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to say cannot be accommodated online, mm -hmm. but I find, for example, with the, with the smaller churches, Yes. All right. They, they, they seem to have a, a, a greater difficulty, especially those that are not well managed. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't have bank accounts and stuff like that. So they, they, they might be so they might run into difficulty in yes. terms of the, the financial the financial side of things. Mm -hmm. 
All right, because let's establish oh. and stuff like that. Oh, right. So in terms of, let us say you're so, trying to, because cause, cause the bigger churches, they have online accounts that, and, right, and then right. people are able to so, do bank transfer, right. but we're taking but they, for granted these things, don't it? Right. We assume that everybody has have those things in place. Yeah, right. And then right. also with those, what you find as well is, if you take, for example, a church that is that is located in a where majority of the members are from, you know, poor economic background. Yes. And then um, accessibility becomes an issue for them. Right. Internet connectivity uh, and all these Right. Things. So the fellowship for them w w w w could be an issue. So mm -hmm. while all that you have mentioned can be accommodated online, mm -hmm. it, it, it varies from institution to institution because not all the churches have all not every, not every church can do an online thing. Yeah. cameras and stuff to do online. Programs. Right, right, right. All right. So those are the ones that I think are, are adversely being, yeah. uh, being affected. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. So, so yes, I foresee... Um, and again, you know, the church does begin and literally can begin in a family, you know, where the two or three are gathered talking, anything concerning him, he's in the midst. And of course, agape, literally two or three, right? Um, but in our case, we do, the, the, you know, we had access, right? Um, but, but, you know, you're, you're exactly right. Churches, rural communities, um, you know, how, how do people connect in those in those circumstances? Um, um, deep, you know, urban communities, yes, but I mean, you know, there are certain, certain communities that are simply don't have access for for those. So online, online platforms simply would not be very effective, effective for those. So so I think the, 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 the sentiment that I'm hearing is, of course, yes, that church can be online um, and it can meet the, the requirements, the biblical requirements for people being able to, you know, experience the presence and the power of God, but there are limitations. So, so let's probably talk about those limitations then. Um, the one of those limitations you're pointing out, Sir, 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 Sir Barnett is again, smaller churches, you know, um, um, lower socioeconomic um, group churches. Um, simply not 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 either having connectivity, so they won't be able to be able to worship. And with and we and and, I, and we need to when we're thinking about these, think about the different platforms as well, because we are using social media, we are using YouTube, but you know there you know there are other platforms as well, uh, whether it is uh, WhatsApp um, or whether it is the these other platforms. Right, but small churches are having have that difficulty. Um, any other challenges? What are the challenges with online church? And I think some of them were alluded to, like Mrs. J and others. You know, in terms of just the physical presence, not being able to, not being able to 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 hug somebody or to touch somebody or being in their physical presence, seeing, you know, you know that human touch. Um, what you know it that is not there does present some limitations to our ability to really connect intimately with each other and to bond closer to each other. Um, so that's so that I would also add as a as a as a as a drawback or an, an, a limitation on online church. Any other drawbacks that you are able to think of as it relates to um, to online church that prevents all of these things, worship, prayer, fellowship, stewardship, care, evangelism, discipleship from really happening. Oh, anybody, I'm sorry. Um, have any, you know, see any other limit, limitations beyond these that you want to share? Uh, please feel free. Um, I don't know if anyone had mentioned this, um, but the only other limitation is that it's like, going to a physical place mm -hmm. to do a particular thing it's like it's like your mind get around to it and everything being at home you literally have to press push yourself because like i mean everything is virtual mm -hmm. i mean you don't have to go you don't have to do right. okay yeah, that's an important one be there and 
next thing you have to push yourself to partake also mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's like in church you're seeing everyone and everyone see, and, and everyone seeing you as well right so exactly so <laughs> it's either you can feel uh, ashamed that yeah. why you're there right. in worship or right. pray Mm -hmm. or you can feel motivated that why everybody there are worship why i'm just gonna worship myself too yeah you understand so you know you really have to be pushing yourself and you know it really bad especially when you're a new convert yes. or someone just entering into the faith it can be quite difficult yes yeah putting yes. yourself you know having to round up yourself to say go there do that Mm -hmm. I mean, being at home and say you're doing a prayer meeting, it can be a strain in a sense. But when you know you're going to church, even if it's a strain, you pushing someone else pushing, and you know you get there. Mm -hmm. And what? So I don't know. That's that's the only other flaw I see with online per se. Well, I mean, I yeah, it's not really all that big per se. Uh, uh, what is not all that big? That you just um, said. What you just said. Yeah. Yeah. No, because that is no, but that is very significant. Um, because I mean, so look at our culture now. You know, you know, notice the culture, the worship culture as well. Sometimes you see somebody come to church, and you know, the, when this when people are not really making an effort, and you know how we can get behind the mic and really drive, you know, it, drive yeah, okay. people to. <laughs> so, but this now could be a, almost a almost a weeding a. a, a I don't know. It, it's like if if you're really not getting what is it, getting it, you're just gonna be left behind, right? Because there, yeah. there, there are persons who are gonna be left behind because they really were coming because my mother asked me to come or because I really just you know I didn't I want I didn't want the shame you know I didn't want people to realize that I was probably backslidden or whatever. And now with this environment, they, you know they just can just go fade away in the background and nobody notices. Because yeah, again, of really not like being in that physical presence, and we know that you know there is just something about you know when you're there, the motivation, as you're saying, somebody being able to help you, to, you know, to push you along, and it's much more challenging to actually kind of motivate people or to tell people to come along or to, you know, to you yeah, know, for like the preacher to work, to push the, the worship. Uh, right. yes. and that's a problem there you know where school is concerned also mm -hmm. the children at home and they have to be pushing themselves that, that, and that, that as well how, how are the kids dealing with this online worship thing it's uh it's a it's a it's a it is something um you know to be able to get children to connect and connect spiritually as well um, with an yeah. online platform, right? New converts that you mentioned, critical again, if you don't have those physical people, because, you know, most of us for the first phase, we really need to have that those persons constantly, you know, in our presence to, to keep us motivated, to keep us focused. Now, at a distance, you know, you just have people who maybe they're online and you see their face, that they're, 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 they're connected, because you're seeing them there, but of course, they're they're electronically there but they are their bodily and mind body and mind are gone in church we used to say boy your they you know their bodies are here but their minds are somewhere else now on online both their bodies and mind can be somewhere else and all yes. you're seeing and all yes. you're seeing is they are is there is the, the, the electronic signature that they are present so there are some serious risks. And there's no way to know. And there's se. no way to connect, to really connect with these individuals or know um, how to, you know, how to help these individuals along because they're, they're just kind of hiding. Um, yeah, I can, they can hide with, with, uh, with the online platform more readily than when you are physically there. So that's a, that's a significant drawback to, to note. Um, um, anybody else? Uh, Mrs. G, I thought that your mic was open at, at one point. I don't know if you had something that you wanted to also add um, to, to, to this whole negative. Yes, Mrs. J. Yes, just a bit. Yes. The caring, the caring part of the church. The caring it, part, yes. It, it could be very affected. Affected, yes, yes. Yeah, especially when you do home visit mm -hmm. yes. and when you do the packaged visit yes. and so yes. Because you cannot, in my humble mind, mm -hmm. 
you cannot do it through the internet. That, that, um, that's, that's so. And that is very important yes, to, to yes, have yes. because the, the fellows expecting and waiting for that, especially when they're sick mm -hmm. and or when they are very, you know, impoverished. Yes. Uh, that aspect is very, to me, yeah. is very affecting. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, you know, that's that, and of course, that's such a critical, critical aspect of the, 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 the ministry of church, right? Simply, simply being able to care. I mean, we were able at, at, at Agape, of course, to facilitate care packages only because, either because, yeah, because we were able to gather um, 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 still, and in some cases, I would have been able to, to drive around physically outside of the, the world, you know, the gathering environment to physically go somewhere. Um, but outside of that, I can't see how, how, where, how well we're going to be really able to care, provide physical care. Counseling, I was able to provide in, in, in an online platform, but I, there are challenges even with sitting down with somebody online and having that conversation. Sir Barnett, I see your hand. All right. I wanted to add also, um, I don't know if anybody told when you, when I, for example, I go on to a service and you scroll through um, in terms of those that are in attendance, you realize mm -hmm. that the, 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 the vast, the vast, vast, vast majority of individuals are members. Right, right, right. All right. So the number of persons in terms of visitors, that's mm -hmm. more, I mean, mm -hmm. unless most persons are not going to go online to, I mean, if they are close by, they can hear us, a message being preached and they might just walk in and, 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 yeah, and hear the yeah, word. But yeah. in terms of going on online, mm -hmm. um, so why, why, why they have the, the, the platform is there to reach more individuals? There is a question of well, how much of these individuals are actually tuning into the, yeah. into the platform. Or many are going on to YouTube to go and tune into Fear Chapel on a Sunday mm -hmm. or, or whatever the case might be. So the... The platform is there, but mm -hmm. I find that usually, except for the exception of very, very, very few, usually persons in attendance are, 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 are the members. So it can mm -hmm. affect your ability to reach um, the, the, the answer of population. Yes, yes, yes. And that, well, that ha also has a, that, uh, that, that's a two-edged sword. Exactly as you're saying is, def is, a, is, a, is definitely a risk. And there are persons, of course, the visitors, I mean, whereas you physically, especially if you invite somebody and they, you know, sometimes it's just the, the, their motivation is less. If they have to go online, it, it's just crazy. So we would we, we, we end up losing the opportunity with those folks. And there are, on the other side of the coin, there are persons who have, especially those persons are accustomed to, to being pressured and they don't want nobody to pressure them to come to church or they don't want people to notice that they're, you know, especially somebody really want to come to church, but you know, they, they don't, they just, they don't, don't want people to be, uh, to admit that they were wrong and they needed to show. So they, they end up are able to come online, but in a, again, in a kind of a clandestine way. And that there are, in fact, people who don't normally attend church, but they are scrolling through for services on a Sunday just to be able to get connected online, but also in a way that avoids the, 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 you know, the negative pressure that they may associate with people trying to get them into church. So, so, so that on that side, that's a positive that that does occur. And on the side that you just described, it's a... It's definitely a negative. Well, I don't want, I don't want to lose, lose this because we're again we're going to basically be ending at, at at eight, um, eight today. So I don't want to to lose the opportunity for us to to share with these, and I'm pretty sure that there may be more, you know, limitations and challenges with online church, and the next conversation that we are you know, God's willing, we'll be having next week, we'll basically look at or seek to project, okay, wh what is the way for? What should this look like? Um, how are we, you know, how are we going to, after COVID, et cetera, what, what should we be taking? What should we not be taking? Um, and so we'll be looking to the future regarding con online. But um, for this conversation with, with these negatives that we have identified, what works or so focusing on, yeah, you know, getting the uh, 
the, the connectivity, you know, getting the, uh, you know, a lot the pre- feeling the presence of God, what works for, to, for allow for persons to really connect, to really experience the presence of God, uh, to really uh, for, for, for prayer, for worship again, for care. Let's, can I get some thoughts as to what you think works in for for online church to facilitate bringing people together watch watch works what things should change for example i i still do feel that just as we we prepare ourselves and we you know we put on our clothes and we physically go so we prepare for the worship experience when it comes to the online experience some level of preparation um, it should be a little bit more involved. I think we're less disciplined than we probably could have. I look at how the world uses their platform, and, you know, the, the fame parties online, and, you know, they try to motivate people, for example, to open their cameras. Um, they try to motivate people to get the, you know, the, 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 their environment where they are at you know, to be conducive to the actual uh, party experience. I see people put lights up in their houses and yada, yada. Um, But we don't seem to, you know, most of the time when we are on, we really just feel far more comfortable in our safe zone, you know, with our mics off, with our cameras off and just, and that may, to my mind, lessen the ability to focus, to really connect the way that we could. Um, is there something, some, something else or some things that we could do to make online worship uh, more effective? Any thoughts on that part? Going once, going three times. Oh, I mean, going twice. Uh, <laughs> um, um, yeah, Lady, Lady Rocks, yes. Um, I don't think I'm contributing much to what else can be done to Mm -hmm. um, improve it. I think improving it basically is an individual thing. I mean, the host of the whole thing, Mm -hmm. I mean, they only can put together their package, Mm -hmm. make it interesting, but the rest is individual. We have to make up our minds to partake and participate and all those things. Mm -hmm. But I think it's it's rather convenient Mm -hmm. that we can tune in in such a fashion where all right then we don't really we can just you know come we don't mm-hmm. need to dress up no one has to be looking at all right then mm-hmm. what a person they have on and mm-hmm. how them it's weird today and all those things you, know, you can just present yourself and just tune in your ears you don't have to look now we're special and whatever mm-hmm. it's just I think it's just convenient that we can do that. Right. So there is, in fact, that advantage, similar to the advantage that I mentioned, where you have persons who would otherwise probably not show up in a worship service because, again, of the, the, the inconvenience, probably the peer pressure in your, in your statement, case here. That there is, in fact, an advantage to the convenience of just being there without, you know, in a clandestine way, without having to dress up also. And so that's an advantage. There is, however, a disadvantage, again, in if you put yourself now as the worship leader and you are not able to get a feedback from somebody in the service, you're not, you know, people are not responding, you're not hearing the voices, you don't know whether you're going off or you're going on, and, you know, and, the, and of course, that takes away from the ability to connect. Um, so there is, in fact, a real disadvantage with if the entire church decide that, well, you know, they're just going to exploit that convenience to just not have their mics on, not have their cameras on, not really connect. Um, and it is only the pastor and the worship leaders, really their voices alone. It, it, it takes away from the effectiveness of really being able to connect. And, uh, and we know that this also, uh, and I'm using the secular example as, as, uh, as such, because even the same problem that teachers are having with kids, that there's a certain requirement. I'm on school online and there's a literal requirement that I need to have my mic on throughout the entire 
period of the, of this, of the course because it helps as a part of the learning experience to know that the student is not distracted and connected. Um, the entertainment platforms, they can't control anybody as well, but they are promoting persons uh, being present in a, in a, in a, in a, in as real a way as possible with mics open with, with cameras there because that adds to the connectivity, the relationship building, the connectivity. And I think that we probably are prob the most, uh, uh, what you call, you know, new, not using the platform as effective in that way as we, as we could. And in the same way that we say to somebody, when, when you're coming to church, you know, try to not, don't come in certain types of clothes or because it adds to the worship experience if persons are, you know, are not prepared in that way. So I think that there is some disadvantage. Lady Michelle, I see your hand up. Okay, you just touched on what I was going to say where the clothes is a concern. Mm -hmm. I think one of us, one of the things is that Chris Numbers found that we 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 can step away from wearing the, the, the church clothes mm -hmm. when we're at home and are on our hand and we have that 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 camera is not on us anymore. Mm -hmm. We can come probably in our bed and listening to the service. We could mm -hmm. be in our, our, our night gown or or in mm -hmm. our pit and be in church so that novelty of of being not dressed up mm -hmm. you know, is is what's one of the additive for for the disadvantage of of not having um that connectivity as you said the world is inviting people to to open up their mics and open up their video why why the world would do that is because of why there's a fame to it uh, you know there's there's a there's a there's a, a, a value to it where Everybody see you pan 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 in frame frequency or, or the everybody see you on either the intense or mm -hmm. are seen by the world. It's it's a plus. It builds your ego. Mm -hmm. But whereas now we have flipped the coin as church members, it's like everyone is taking a, a step back and hiding. You know, <laughs> nobody wants to be seen. That mm. yes, I am. No, I'm look at no, look at that. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, and that, that, is, that is what we're facing right now. We're yeah. facing that part now. We're not trying to, to I we're trying to blend back into in the, into the things that, that we have left. We're trying to, to hide and cover up the things that we were doing. And now that we have this this platform that is in our minds, we classify it as intrusive, where mm -hmm. it comes directly into our homes and people are going to see for some it might be the fact that their homes like might, might, might be not up to par and for some it might be that they might not have had the time to probably put up um put up a proper you know um background or whatever it is yes, 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 yes. also one of the issues but yes. the reality of what i know to be a fact is that some of us is just want to go back in the darkness want to go back back yeah so there so as lady rocks i said and i'm going to come to you sir and join and come back to you again lady rocks as, as lady rocks had said there is in fact that and that's an important advantage where you really can without the pressure of you know the you know of, of trying to if you don't have clothes to wear you don't have to be worrying about that you know if you don't you know if you do, there are pressure of people looking at saying you know you and you can still be a part of rather than if you are in a physical service, you'd end up probably staying away because of those limitations. So, so that advantage is, is there. And so for those persons who that applies to, they are still able to be a part of church. For the great majority of, and, and especially for the, for the larger churches, uh, however, that is not a, a, a disadvantage really. And they can in fact make an extra effort to actually connect and they can, in fact, make an extra effort again to, you know, to find a corner in their house where they can turn on the, the, the camera and they're not exposing. But when they can and do not, it, it, again, it does seem to not, we, we're, not see, we don't, we're not seeming to exploit the advantage um, of the platform as well as some other folks um, in, 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 in really getting the full benefit of what we could get with an online platform. Sir Andrew. Yes. Um, right. One of the things that uh, one of the things that I would suggest is, is um is we have to for leaders to have that discussion with the membership. Mm -hmm. Right. Um a Sunday morning, for example, a Sunday morning in most Jamaican homes are, are very busy. Mm 
Yes, yes, yes. So you, you're cutting up the color loaf for breakfast for the uh -huh. traditional folks. You, you're getting the, the rice and peas together and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so another person is just can, they're listening to the service, but right. they are also in the kitchen doing other things. Right. So maybe, right. maybe we need to experiment with moving the church time. Okay. You know, there's no rule as we well, must have church um in the morning. Mm -hmm. So maybe okay, so most press will finish preparing their meals by 12 o'clock. So maybe we might want to start a church service in the in the afternoon. You know, when persons that they, they finish with the housework and they they're just sitting down and relaxing you now. So maybe we need to experiment with, with, to see how all that can be facilitated. I mean, have the discussion with the members and see mm -hmm. what time frame would they, they would prefer to have the service. Um, given that it, it's online, we're not going out. All right, so there's no oh. there's no concern about being late or anything of the sort. So if everybody says, okay, then we are good for four o'clock. By that time, we finish eating and tidying mm -hmm. and everything is also work is finished. So I'm now book, I, I can now sit down and participate fully in the service. So maybe that's an area that we, we can we can look at. So okay, okay. So 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 it, so so the, so would that would that time though? I mean, in terms of conversation. Because would that advantage also apply to the physical to physical church? Because then they could also have had the same, you know, decision then to actually have. Well, it. The thing with the physical you know, is, I gather most persons don't want to be, um, be going out at three okay. in the afternoons. Okay, okay, okay. All right, <laughs> they want to be going. The person rather you have an early service, so they right, reach back right. home early, so you okay. can finish up what you need. To do and then relax in the Sunday evening. All right. So the going out to be a bit different than if you're doing it online. Right? Just not in the mornings, persons are cooking, they are doing multi, I mean, they are multitasking. Some yes, persons yes, work yes. six days a week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Sunday is the only time when they are home to do laundry and stuff like that. So maybe if we shift the church time from eight in the morning and nine in the morning to later, though, maybe four or five o'clock. I mean, maybe I'm just saying, maybe we yeah, yeah. would so, have more, more, more participation. Right. So, in, right. So, so in other words, we, I mean, just looking at the the, 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 the opportunities that online platform present, <laughs> if, that if, if having a conversation, you know, could have probably, uh, you know, you know, we could have exploited it even more by continuing the time. Um, so, that's a good suggestion as well, you know, to, to be able to, to exploit all the advantages of. Of online church and be able to get a little bit more people there as well. So, so, so excellent. Lady Rocks. I see your hand up. Your hand is still up, Lady Rocks. Yeah. Um, uh, one thing that, you know, um, churches or online platforms can do to get persons more involved and, you know, there as we're on the whole dressing thing. Mm -hmm. um, there themes that we could work with like you know within each week you know mm -hmm. that will force or prompt each person to adhere and you know show up in that way and it could also be fun uh, you understand yeah, yeah. so i don't know that's an option yeah 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 so you know we so i i think if we first of all recognize probably even as leaders recognize um, online church, even outside of COVID, as a legitimate form of worship or form of actually um, bringing, you know, Christian community, because church literally translates to Christian community. And so community can be online as well as offline, as long as it meets the, the seven biblical criteria, which I had posted in the chat, uh, sir, 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 and I didn't realize that you had asked for that to happen. And, you know, and if we legitimize it, then we also add the same kind of guidelines. I don't know that, I don't know that I've ever really seen any church offering, you know, saying, okay, we're going to have online church. These are our guidelines. When we meet at this time, when we come together, you know, mic should be on or mic should be off or camera should be on or camera, or this is how you prepare for online service before online service, do so and so. And it says some form of guideline in the very same way that those who are using the platform most effectively do, right? They do tell the students, okay, we recommend that you do this, do that. This is how you prepare for it. This is the kind of uh, equipment you need to have. We recommend that you, you know, what X, Y, Z, so that we also can exploit the platform in the most effective way possible so that we can, in fact, again, have the best 
uh, as close as possible to the worship experience that we would have had if we were in our physical physical uh, presence with each other. So any 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 final comments, anything else to add concerning this, you know, the worship experience, the online worship experience, what can we do um, to make it, uh, um, you know, to, to make the experience more effective? Think of yourself, what would you probably like to see, you know, so that, you know, to make this particularly particular worship experience more effective to you? I noticed, for example, that when we are having um, prayer meetings, that if we are talking, you know, if more than one person is talking at the same time over the mic or singing on the mic, there is a, a time, what to call it now, there is a discrepancy, it's like they, they're not, it's not synchronized. And so it does not, it's not, it's not the same effect as if you are in a, in a small group primary and everybody's singing together. When you're singing online, it doesn't come across as a corporate singing and the timing seems to be off. You know, maybe we need to reflect differently on how we allow, you know, do the worship in the in the in the prime meeting or even worship in general, so as to make that that kind of a discord and singing or the, um uh, together a little bit more uh, uh, accommodating. Um, that's also something that's something that I've experienced that I'd probably like to think of ways to improve. Um, but yes, anyway, in closing, yeah, any, any further comments regarding that? I think we, you know, we, we have put some forward, some really, good, uh, something that I probably didn't realize about other persons' experience with online church and some of these weaknesses as well as the strength. And so it really was a fruitful conversation. Anything else in closing? Lady Michelle, I see your mic is open. Well, we were just talking prior before the meeting regarding what you just said, mm -hmm. where we about the feedback that happens mm -hmm. or the, the delay that happens when we um, come together to sing as a congregation because mm -hmm, there's mm -hmm. discord yeah. that happens when yes. we sing online. So we can have little like first somebody might sing one part, one mm -hmm. verse, or one, 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 and then another person might sing the chorus or so. So that that can be adjusted if we put our heads together to let it happen. Yeah. And let's, yeah. Um, yeah. And then and then we were also talking about that connectivity that we normally have when when we're face to face singing because we feel each other's energy. Mm -hmm. we feel each when we're there and we will sing to the glory of God even yes. better. Yes. So that yes. could be also a way we could actually go forward. It could actually be like, you know, somebody going to start the first verse, somebody else sing the second verse, somebody, but we are giving um time it. Yes, yes, yes. That's just it, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But what I thought this is, I think a little creativity could go a far away. Yeah, you know, um, especially especially on the we're in San Zoom. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you're gonna have a service, all right. Um, we know that brother so and so, where he live, he, he and his wife, you know, his wife is a singer, he, 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 he's a musician, mm -hmm. all right. We have the keyboard and stuff locked away in the office, all right, and the church compound, all right. So we're gonna give you the instruments, so we yeah. have the Zoom session, then you will. You will, you will, you will, you will operate the, that, the that instruments is, and everything yeah, that we yeah, add to the to, to the world setting, as opposed. Like I said before, and everybody's saying it, it was really distracting to put it there, nicely. There, there you go, and I think that's you know, how so. we are. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, uh, 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 we are looking at, of course, in the process of planning our backup. You know, in terms of online platform, we have not used it because we still have been able to meet, but we see the need to actually have that, and I think that's how we're go probably going to work with ours. Try to get a few people, people who are the singers, the few people who are singers, mm -hmm. and the music in one place and they, they will, just, right. and and they will right. just do that part and mm -hmm. of course we are we just follow them that's, you know so so that's one way that i think we can improve that experience the worship experience um particularly for the zoom platform so so yeah so 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 there are things that we can do it's just it's a new environment so we have to know adjust to it and then and um and tweak you know do the things that are unique to that platform or the platform that we are using in order to get them to work to work for us so if there's um nothing else um um, um any final comments um good to see you good to see you all um you know lady rocks thank you for being here mrs j thank you 
as usual for your contribution. Um, um, it's Shay, um, Lady Smith, Lady Celia, um, Sir Andrew, um, Lady Michelle. If you want, want to open your mics um, and just tell somebody good night, greet somebody, make somebody feel good to having participated in our conversation. Thank you. It was edifying. I hope it was edifying for you all as well. And we look forward to continuing to talk. Good night, everyone. Have a good, good night. <laughs> good night, everyone. Bless you good all. Night. Yeah, good night. Sir Bart, it's good, good to night, have you. everyone. God bless you. All right. Bless you, all right. Take care. She fell off. Oh, no, she's still right here. Somebody fell off. I don't know who that was. But yeah, take care, folks. God bless you. Um, keep safe. Um, in Jesus' name. Um, Thank you.